So is a streamer an actor? You are playing a part, even if that part is to play yourself. Can we trust Dish? Are we all just actors on the grand stage of life? That's an excellent question. My answer to that is don't put your unbridled trust in anyone. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Don't idolize people. Do not idolize content creators, okay? I actually don't even... I've been thinking about this a lot recently. I actually hate being called unproblematic. I see that in com in like TikTok comments sometimes. Where do you that, want to go next? That I if get called... Like to see Liu. That I get... I get called problematic. Unproblematic. Often. And like, I get where that's coming from. I totally get it. I totally get it. But from the other side of that... On the receiving end of that, uh, unproblematic is kind of like it's like a different word for perfect. And I honestly don't like being called that because I'm. If you really want to take it to the extreme, I'm not unproblematic. Like, obviously, I have values and I have morals and I have, you know, I believe in, you know, mercy and. And compassion and blah 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 and blah 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 but i'm not like perfect and i it, it honestly is frightening to be held to a perfect standard you know our people it's kind of odd to call people and also another another component of that is if you call someone problematic just, just confirmed that she stole all our money <laughs> there is no merch we can't trust her she is problematic yeah, as soon as the merch closes, I'm gonna just DC from the internet forever. Until the, uh, debt collection comes after me. Um. Until you all individually sue me. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh. Also, another thing, and I'm not saying this is true for everyone. It's probably... It, it's possible that a lot of people who you think are unproblematic are actually just really good at hiding. So I'm not saying that you should like... Mm. All I'm saying is don't put your blind trust and faith in anyone, especially like content creator wise, because it's just, you, you never have the full picture on who someone is. You know? Yeah, don't don't idolize and on the on the flip side, like <laughs> it's so sad. On the other side, um in terms of like cancel culture, don't um don't <sighs> this music is really annoying. Don't, um, disallow people from being able to change and grow, either. You can take my advice, you can not take my advice, but don't, like, if someone makes, everyone makes a mistake, everyone makes mistakes, everyone does things that they regret, um, but it's a matter of, like, is that person looking to... Grow and develop from the mistake that they made? Genuinely? You know? I think I just saw a baby Borg in there. <laughs> yeah, they say never meet heroes, it's true. People are supposed to be perceived in a certain way. Careful dish, the clippers are coming. I'm not saying anything that I don't, um, that I wouldn't stand by, so. If someone wants to come at me for this whatever they can um there's a large difference between those unwilling to grow and those who have tried to grow yeah yeah i agree i agree with you yeah if people do clip it out of context all of us have a uh, full context yeah i just i see just like ridiculous conversation in like t tiktok threads and twitter threads or tiktok comments and twitter threads about like certain content creators i'm like man you guys really have like such a small 
Like, you're not even willing to, like, think for yourself. Or give people a chance to, like, grow and change. It's, uh... Try to, try to put yourself in, in their shoes. Because any growth or change, it might happen in public. That's really hard. You know? I hate TikTok. I hate it too. I've been trying to spend less and less time on it because it's so toxic. I talked about this already. Yeah, TikTok comments on fan videos are so... Uh, it, like, a lot of them are meaning well, but I also know that, like, people like that could very easily just, like... Oh, I missed my window. Could very easily just, like, turn on me as soon as I make a mistake or some weird piece of, like, false information comes out or something like that. Like, like who knows? So I don't really want, I don't really want those people in my community anyways if they're not willing to listen and use their brain I need to do that yeah idolizing people is like gambling like gambling game yeah ignore the comments I've had so many <laughs> so many times where I like I enjoy a video and then I look at the comments I'm like ah well that ruined that for me <laughs> People like to pick and choose who to give chances to. Yeah, and most people... I'm sorry. Let me let me be careful about generalizing. Um, there are people... Osmanthus wine tasted. ...who care more about being in the majority than being right. Or being fair. And that definitely manifests in... It's like peer pressure, you know? There are people who care more about being in the majority than being right. And that definitely manifests in, like, fan bases and stuff. It's, it's not true about everything, obviously, but I have seen that to be true. It's easier to be a moralist. It's hard to have a moral. Ooh. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Stabilize. That TikTok is very toxic. Well, I think the and the pre reason I'm trying to spend less time on TikTok is because I'm starting to develop like moral objections to it just as a platform. <laughs> I think it's really unhelpful and unsafe Stabilize. for young people to be in like this echoing chamber where they're only getting fed opinions and stuff that, that align with their own pre-existing opinions. Um Man, my heart is actually pounding talking about this stuff. <laughs> my heart is in my throat right now. But it feels good. Um, in my... Yeah, I... I... I want to give people opportunity to grow and change. And, like, be... Why am I here? To be... Like, to grow, right? To grow. To learn from past mistakes. But I also know that there are people who would not extend that same grace to me. So. I want my community to be a place where there's not instant judgment cast on people. And there's also like critical thought, you know? Young kids childhood gets ruined by certain ideals and TikTok is saddening. It's hard to talk about because I don't know. I, I, I feel like I know my audience, but who knows? I could say one thing that gets, you know, taken out of context and it could start a whole war. TikTok is very good for advertising content. so so bad for people in general. That's why I'm using it less. So if you see me posting less on TikTok, that's why. How afraid I was to stand up for something who was talk stand up to someone who was talking about my back because I was afraid that I will be a target too. Yeah. Yeah, and like... Okay. Should I get even more controversial? Should I talk some about something more controversial? Should I, should I, should I, should I, you know, get a little deeper? Tread, tread a little deeper? I've heard people say that con cancel culture doesn't exist. Dear Diary. 
My favorite part of Dish Streams is the deep talks. Thank you for your open mind and oh. your life advice less than three. You got it, Spazzy. I'll try my best to be honest all the time. Um... Yeah. I've heard people say, and like people that are my age and older say that cancel culture doesn't exist. That is such a lie! <laughs> it's such a lie. I've seen some bad takes about cancel culture not existing. Um, but I will say this. There's a difference between... Um, there is a difference between... Choosing to disconnect from a, a creator, an actor, some kind of celebrity, whoever, because their morals or whatever it is, like if they've done something that's unreconcilable to your conscience, absolutely like disconnect from, from that person. But when you, there's like a switch that flips where people who participate in cancel culture basically like lose their humanity and also reject the humanity of the person that they're canceling or educating as is more often referred to and it turns into basically like people using this person as a punching bag <laughs> And finding this, using this one person to, to basically, how I see it, in my, my opinion, is that they're looking for some, okay, this is my hot take, this is my hot take about people who participate, cancel culture, <laughs> or condone cancel, canceling people, is that it's because, oh gosh, I see my career dwindling before my eyes right now, um, there are people who participate in cancel culture and condone cancel culture because they want to deflect from the things in themselves that they do not like. So that would they would rather anger, take out the things in themselves that they do not like, they would rather look at someone else and say you're worse than me you are worse than me so i'm gonna look at you instead of having to look inward at the things in myself that i don't like that's my opinion that's my opinion of people who who i think people who participate actively in cancel culture are self-righteous and want to use it as a way to elevate themselves both externally and internally yes your honor he's projecting it <laughs> i will say i will say there is a difference again between disconnecting between disconnecting yourself from a from a person who doesn't like doesn't like you don't drive with there's a difference between that i think that's good like if there's an actor or something that i'm like mm, you said something and you condone condemn some condone something that i don't i have an objection to i'll separate there's a difference between that and going on a righteous self-righteous crusade to destroy this person's life this is the cancel culture that i'm talking about I feel <laughs> my heart is like <clears throat> need some water. The destroying part is is the extreme, and I think that's a manifestation of self righteousness. You already got to roll edit this and put it on YouTube. Maybe I will. Do you want me? You guys want me to put this on YouTube? This is hot take on cancel culture. Cancel culture exists, but almost everyone that talks about it blows it out of proportion to understand canceling is the only way for more marginally people to get justice and it's gone out of proportion. But the original intent is noble.
I don't know if I agree with you, Cloud. I don't think I agree with you. Just pretend they don't exist until I forget about them. Yeah, and I don't think that that's cancel culture. Like, that's just... That's just you standing up for yourself, Bree, and that's totally fine. Like, you you disconnecting from... From, like, a... From, like, a person because you object to them morally? That's totally fine. You should do that. You should do that. Uh... <laughs> I think a lot of people on TikTok don't make their own opinion. They just follow other people's words without analyzing what they're saying. I think that is part of the problem, too, is that people fail to have a well-rounded approach and understanding of people. Yeah, there's also, like... Oh, actually, I'm not going to say that. It's too, it's too deep. Uh, I also think a lot of people canceling people for performance purposes... Like, some people feel like they're doing something great, but it's actually causing more harm than good. And I think that's another mushy, I think that's another tangent of, like, the self-righteousness component. Who condone cancel culture don't know the difference between canceling and rightfully holding accountable. Yes, I agree. And, and it's also another reason that I, I have a hard time with TikTok is because TikTok is, like... It's like the... It's like a festering ground for self-righteousness and... and Virtue signaling. Virtue signaling. And TikTok caters to kids. That's the problem. It cancels to kids. I mean, it, it, it caters to kids, which I think is such a problem. People on every problem, I feel like there's some sort of sheep. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people go with the majority. Cancel culture is bad over dumb stuff that shouldn't exist. Holding accountable should exist. People shouldn't get away with some things that they do. Yeah, I think that I think that the component <laughs> children are canceled. Okay, I'm gonna look away from chat because I'm not gonna be able to articulate this if I don't. I think that. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to make sure this is like a touchy thing, so I want to make sure I say this properly. Um. Have you guys heard the phrase that no, uh, oh, oh, what is it? All, all press is good press. Have you guys heard that? It's basically the idea that, um, there's, there's no such thing as bad press. Um, the whole idea of holding accountable A lot of times it doesn't work. It doesn't work because all you're doing is you're giving more exposure to the person that you're trying to educate and cancel. Yeah, bad attention is still... I don't believe in educating celebrities. They have resources to do it themselves. So I feel... I personally feel that the best way for you to function in society when you interact with someone that you... A content creator, a celebrity, whatever, that has done something that is a moral, morally ob object... Objection? Mo uh, does something... <laughs> I'm having a hard time speaking now. Does something that you have a moral objection to understand that they probably don't care um they probably don't care and that any attention that you give them is going to be good for them so i don't think that even in its purest most genuine form most well-meaning form Holding accountable and, and educating, it rarely works. That's my opinion. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but so many people hold mixing accountable. Yeah, mix, holding accountable and can canceling into legal issues. They're not canceling. It's a legal issue. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's okay. 
Uh, I know I missed a lot of messages, and I'm sure I'll go back and be able to read them later. Content creators love getting into scandals. It draws more attention to them and helps them gain exposure. Uh-huh. Yep. Doing nothing is still not the best option. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I don't know if there is best. There is the best option. Yeah, I mean, people have tried... Think of all the people that the internet has tried to cancel. Okay, David Dobrik. Um, who else? Trissa Paytas. Um, Kylie Jenner. Kendall Jenner. James Charles. Shane... Oh, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson is uh, frightening. Those people are thriving. Those people are thriving. They're doing just fine. They do not care. They're cashing their checks. And they're still doing great. So keep that in mind when you go on a righteous crusade against someone. Is it's probably not going to work. Sometimes there's not a perfect solution to prop to problematic creators. Yeah, oh no, totally. Anyone who who committed a crime should absolutely face legal repercussions for what they've done. 100%. Ollie London. <laughs> I think that's like a part of what I'm getting at the more personal component of cancel culture is that it's more it's draining for you it's draining for you while it may not actually do anything for the positive yeah the world isn't fair the world is not fair i guess i'm more just like worried for I'm more concerned less with the creators and more just for you guys. Like, at least in America. I don't know about other countries, but like, I don't want you guys to waste your time and your energy and turn into like <laughs> feral beasts trying to, trying to destroy some content creator who doesn't give a crap. And, it, and a lot of times it gets directed at at people who absolutely do deserve their platform, like Jenna Marbles. Even though Jenna Marbles did live on her own volition, she probably saw what happened with other creators and didn't want the same fate. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Eloise. I think there's, I think you should be able to like speak back to your, to the content creators that you care about and be like, hey, this thing that you said was really, probably really like frustrating and, and offensive. And mo and hopefully like, hopefully that creator is gonna, is gonna listen to the feedback and and adjust and grow as a person and and that's i don't think that that's canceling that's not canceling that's like holding your content creator like to the stand to like a standard that's like accountability right i think that's i think that's fair i think like you like you guys in a sense are like a customer i i don't i hate to even say it like that but like you guys are subscribing to my content, enjoying my content. I'm making content for you. You guys should feel comfortable to tell me if I've said something wrong. Like if I've said something harmful, I hope you guys would tell me. And then that's not canceling. So I don't have an issue with that. People understand the difference between pointing out someone's mistakes and harmful behavior and calling someone like my supremacist because it made a bother them joke when they were 12. Yeah. I just, I just, I believe that there should be room for people to grow and people to move on from their, from their errors. I think there should be room for mercy in our culture. And a lot of times mercy is, is trampled over just so that people have something to direct their self-righteous virtue signaling at, you know, where's the mercy? And forgiveness, you know? Do you agree with separating the art from the artist and consuming art of problematic, quote-unquote, people? Uh... No. No. 
I think if some if there's a artist that I wouldn't want to put money in their pockets, then I'm probably not going to consume their art. People aren't perfect. Holding people, especially strangers, even if they're famous to a perfect standard, is very unrealistic. Yeah. Yeah. Too young to re these people are too young to realize that growth is a thing and that it happens over time. And I think kids, like tween kids and tweens are often weaponized to 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 attack creators or to, to attack whoever. Uh okay. I think we should move on from this discussion. <laughs> I think I think we've I think we've talked the We've talked the subject out enough. A lot is looping. Yeah, I think we're getting to the point of like looping and adding uh, clauses and tangents and stuff. And I think that's where we should cut the conversation. <laughs> I could probably put it on YouTube. It's a little frightening, but I feel like it's a good discussion. I'll probably just upload it uncut. Uncut. Yeah, dish podcast. <laughs> Having breakfast with chat. I won't put it on TikTok because uh Who knows what would happen to me there? The combat war. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting, won't it? <laughs>